we take two, take two solvents that is A and B. A and B are two solvents and A and B are there is two conditions are there. A and B form a heterogeneous system or A and B are solvents that is immiscible to each other. A and B are immiscible and that form a heterogeneous system. Then what happened? If we add a solute, solute x is the solute if you add a x is the solute x to the system if you add x the solute to the solvent and that there is what happened if you add a solute to a solvent that form a solution and here x is distributed in two liquids that is distribute to b and distribute to A that form a solution with respect with the solvent A and form a solution with the solvent B because A and B are two immiscible liquids. Then according to Nernst distribution law what happen? Suppose here we take X2 so, and here in B, that solute 4. That is, X distribute uh, with the solvent A and with solvent B. It a particular uh, 2 X solute is there, here 4. Then, according to Nan, that is, in solvent B, the solute X is 2. Uh, 2 X so, solute molecule is there. And in B that is solute 4 is there or it it is at a particular ratio 2 is to 1 that is X distribute to solvent A that form a solution or its concentration ratio is 2 is to 1 ratio then consider another system if you add X to this particular system here solvent B and here solvent A here is the ratio is 1, 2, 3 solute molecule is there. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 solute molecule is there. Or in A, B. In A, the solute molecule is 6. And in B, the solute molecule is 3. So, it form a particular concentration ratio. 2 is to 1 ratio. Or what is the meaning? It's concentration is with respect to the addition of solute and the concentration changes and the it form a 2 is to 1 ratio then consider another system we add x to this particular here b here a here in b solute molecule x is 1 2 3 4 in a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8x or its concentration is different and in a b 8 and 4 or in its ratio 2 is to 1 at, at a particular condition or for a certain condition when solute distribute between two immiscible liquids and its concentration ratio for example the concentration ratio of this one is ca and the concentration ratio of this one is cb or its concentration ratio C A by C B. It is a concentration ratio is a constant. K is a constant. That is known as Nernst distribution law. For example, when solution of iodine, iodine in carbon disulfate. So, carbon disulfide is a solvent. Iodine is the solute or different concentration where shaken with the distilled water that is H2O. So, H2O is a solvent. Iodine is distributed between carbon disulfide and H2O. In such a, at a given temperature, the ratio of its concentration in two layers was constant. That is irrespective of the amount of iodine. That is the meaning 
that is concentration of iodine or into CH2 by concentration of solution in H2O H2O is a or this C A by C B is a constant is a constant that is known as Nernst distribution law the Nernst distribution law the ratio of concentration of C A by C E to constant only when solute has the same molecular condition that is what is the same molar mass in two solvents then by statement the Nernst distribution law states that when a solute distribute itself between two immiscible solvents that is A and B in contact with each other there exist for a similar molecular species at a given temperature a constant ratio of distribution between the two solvents irrespective of the total amount of solute and irrespective of other molecular species which may be present that is the Nernst distribution law that is that is C A by C B is equal to K D is equal to a constant where K D is known as K D is known as partition coefficient or distribution coefficient.